What are you having for tea tonight? Chops and sausages, perhaps, with vegetables. I wonder what sort of vegetables. Maybe frozen peas or frozen beans. Or maybe you're having frozen Chinese food. Have you ever stopped to think how the food is frozen? Well, it all starts in a factory, a very special factory, and in this one, they're preparing Chinese food. There's the fresh food going into our aluminium containers, and those are placed on a conveyor belt, which then takes the containers by the hundreds into a special machine that has jets of liquid nitrogen, very, very cold liquid nitrogen, which comes down onto the food and freezes it so that when it comes out the other end, it's ready to be packaged to go to the supermarket, ready for you to buy. Liquid nitrogen. What on earth is it? Well, it's a liquid, and it's the same gas that we have in the air. Four-fifths of the air, roughly, is nitrogen. When you lower the temperature down, 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 all the way down to minus 196 degrees Celsius, it changes to a liquid. Let's have a look at that liquid. You'll notice I'm wearing rubber gloves because it's very, very dangerous with the temperature being so low. And it's kept in a special container, like a giant thermos flask. Have a look at it as I tip it out. Right, you can see it's a clear liquid, and because it's warming up, coming to room temperature, it's very rapidly boiling. If we have a look at that, you'll notice that there's quite a bit in there, and uh, when the clouds go away, it looks very much like ordinary water, but it certainly isn't ordinary water. Well, frozen Chinese food, frozen peas, frozen beans, all been done before. I have for you a brand new delicacy. This is one that hasn't been tried and marketed, and it's frozen lettuce leaves. Let's see what happens if we take a, an ordinary lettuce leaf and plunge it into the liquid nitrogen. You'll notice I'm using tongs, of course. Well, clouds of vapour everywhere, and hopefully the lettuce is freezing. Let's have a look. Take it out. Only one trouble is you'll have to handle the lettuce leaves very carefully because it shatters and breaks into a thousand pieces. Well, what about balloons? One other delicacy that I'm sure you want to ch try is the well-known delicacy frozen balloon. Uh, place it in a frying pan like this, hold it down, and watch what happens to it as it swishes around. Can you see what's happening to it? It's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. The reason for this, of course, is that the air inside the balloon isn't freezing, not yet anyway, but what's happening is it's shrinking. It's getting smaller and smaller. We take the balloon out, now, as the air inside the balloon heats up the room temperature, the balloon inflates itself. One more thing to try. Frozen rubber balls. An ordinary rubber ball bounces nicely. What happens if we plunge this into liquid nitrogen? I think 20 seconds will about do it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Are you ready for it? 19 and a 20. Maybe it'll bounce better than ever. One, two, three.